It's Pink Sweetener here. I'm McKenna. And I'm Taylor, and welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, if you are new to our channel, make sure to hit the thumbs up on this video, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you know when we post next. So for this week's video, we're going to do a review video on the wig we are currently wearing and also a tutorial on how to apply a wig. We're gonna do it in this hairstyle we have. To get started, this is the name of the wig we are wearing right here. It is a really, really, really long, this is like the end of it, wig and it is blonde with roots and it comes with bangs. The hair does not come straight. We straighten yeah, it. It is actually really, really wavy, but personally, we didn't like how that looked with our faces, so we straightened it. Um, we're gonna insert a tutorial right now on how to straighten the wigs properly and just what temperature you can use on your wig. The first step to straightening your wig is you need to section off your hair, meaning take out just a small chunk of the hair and clip the rest back. This will make it easier for you to straighten. And then you can just secure it with some alligator clips like I have, it helps keep the hair out of the way. Now you're going to section the section into a smaller section, as you can see we did in the video, and you're going to just straighten the hair from the top and just go slowly down towards the bottom. Make sure to apply a bit of pressure because it does help the hair straighten faster. You're just gonna repeat these steps until the wig is completely finished. Now we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about the quality of the wig. It is very similar in quality to the ponytails that they sell. The fiber is like soft, it looks pretty natural. The only difference I would say that we have noticed between this wig and the ponytails we have is it is a touch like shiny compared to all the ponytail extensions we wear. But there are ways you can make it less shiny. So if you still want to buy this wig, still buy it because it is cute and you can fix the shininess. We just, right at the moment, didn't have the um, materials to make it not shiny. Um, they are designed to be worn down, but we wanted to see if we could wear it up. Um, we will give a tutorial on how to do the hairstyle later on in the video, but right now I'm just gonna talk about, for the review part, how easy was it to style this wig? If you are planning to style the wig like we have, like change it from its original state, you just basically put it up. Yeah, or do anything else other than put it on. It is actually pretty hard to do because it wasn't designed to be styled, basically. It was designed to just be put on and then you're ready to go. Um, so when you pull it back, it like shows the wig and stuff because it's not a lace front wig, but it's, if you hide it and get around it, kind of like we did, um, it's okay to style, but if you're planning to just buy it and put it on, it's really good. All of INH's wigs are really easy to apply because they were designed to be like, you pull it on and then you're done. Instead of some wigs, you have to like glue the edges and like do more work with them. Yeah. Um, this I one was really easy to put on. All I think did... this one makes it like higher up for me. Yeah. It's very um, user friendly. Yeah, it's very user friendly, very easy for people who aren't like pro wig people, which we aren't. This is like the first wig I've ever put on my head. So for the versatility, if that's the right word for the wig, um, it's very good. It has um, lots of different features that allows you to adjust and size the wig to your head depending on your head size. Here is the inside of the wig. You can see that it has all of those like pronged clips. That helps keep the wig on your head, keeps it sturdy. You can also see that there's that band at the back that I'm touching. That is what you use to tighten the wig. Um, if we were to rate it, out of 10, I would give it a seven. A seven. Now that the review part of the video is done, we're gonna get into the application part of the video. This part is where we're gonna show you guys how to apply your wig and just how to style it to look just like this if you're interested in having this cute panda ear hair. We kinda got inspiration from Ariana Grande because she wore these this. panda ear hairs on several different equations. <laughs> on several different, why can't I say occasions? <laughs> so we're gonna get right into it with how to apply your INH wig and you guys can see just how easy it is to do. 
So in order to put your hair in a wig, you need to prep it and hide your hair in the wig because that's the point of wearing a wig. Um, it's really simple and quick and easy to do. All you need is two little elastic thingies. We got these ones from Shein. They're like little rubber elastic bands that aren't reusable. We reuse them because we're cheap, but they're not reusable. You use them in the ends of each braid. It'll make more sense once we get started. The first step is to section your hair into two parts. It doesn't really have to be center, so don't spend all your time trying to make a center because you're covering it with the wig. Then all you do is take one of the two sides and you're going to separate it into three parts because you're going to do a braid. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna braid each side backwards, kind of like, just like back. You know what I mean? Like lay it flat and braid each side. And once we're done that, we'll show you guys what the finished look is like. Okay, we're back from off camera just doing our hair. It's too difficult for us to do it on camera. So hopefully you guys can understand like the explanation of braid your hair backwards. So it's this is what like it looks this. like. It like braids. lays flat and then comes out the back like that. You're going to take one of your braids and you're going to wrap it across your head like this. You go backwards across the back of your head. And if your hair is a bit longer like mine, you just put it, the little extra, just on top and lay it flat. And then you're going to secure this with bobby pins. And then and you do, do the repeat. same on the other side. You wrap it around and do this. And you secure it <laughs> with bobby pins. And you want to make sure when you're securing it to try to lay the braid as flat as possible. Because the goal is to not make the sides or top of your head bulky. Because that's what gives away that it is a wig and not your natural hair. We're going to go do that and we'll be back on the camera. Um, to show you guys how to apply a wig cap. It's actually gonna be done on a mannequin head because it's easier that way for us and for you guys to be able to, to see. see. Okay, so we have Stacy here. She's our like mannequin head. She's looking perfect, you know. Um, we're getting ready to put the wig cap on it. All you need is just one wig cap of any color. It really doesn't matter what color the wig cap is. And you're gonna stretch it on over your head. This is Taylor struggling to put the wig cap on the mannequin head. You're gonna pull it on from your forehead first all the way down to the back of your skull. And it's kind of self-explanatory. You just want to make sure it's not covering your ears because if it's covering your ears, you're gonna see it when you try to pull the hair up. So just pull it back and hide it behind your ears and make sure it's just all snug. You're gonna make sure that at the front of the um, wig cap, you're gonna pull it back so it meets your hairline. If you leave it lower than your actual hairline, like touching your eyebrows like it was on the mannequin head, you will actually see the wig cap passing the bangs on your wig. So just make sure that you have the wig cap pulled back to your hairline so you don't see it. We're now moving on to how to apply your INH wig. It's very simple. All you're gonna do is slip the first two front prongs into your side kind of temple area, as you can see Taylor is doing on Stacy here. Once you have that done, just grab the back prong and you're going to pull that back over your head. You wanna make sure that the wig is kind of, like all the hair is flopped forwards at first. It helps with the application and makes it look more natural in the end. As you can see, the hair is like far too forwards on Stacy's head. This actually does happen more often than you think. Just make sure that once you have the wig on, just tug it back until the bangs hit you in an area that looks more natural, not like covering your eyeballs like this. And now Stacy is all ready to go. Her wig is perfectly applied and ready to be styled. Now that we showed you guys how to put the wig on your lovely heads, we are going to show you how to style it in this updo we have on. So we have Stacy all ready in her wig and prepared to go. The first step you're going to do is brush out your wig. Make sure you brush it out because it'll make it easier later for styling. You want to make sure you get out all the knots and even make sure you brush the bangs to keep them out of the way.
The first step is you're going to part your hair. You're going to start at the front of your head and just take a very small amount of the top layer of the wig. You do this just so you don't expose any of the wig cap. If you take too much of the hair, just put it back down. You don't want to see any of the mesh. You're going to continue this part all along the side of your head and along the back. For the back, just make sure you only take half of your head's hair because the other half is for the other panda ear. Now you're going to gather your hair into a pigtail. You're going to use one elastic. We prefer small elastics, so ones that aren't like a full size elastic because it, like you need to twist it less. First fasten it into a tight pigtail, but on the last twist, make sure you half loop the hair through. That's how you get the panda ear look. You want to make sure that you leave the tail end out of the back, not out the front. Now it comes to the hard part, which is finalizing the shape of your panda ear. You're going to pull the panda ear to tighten it down, and then since it's saggy and floppy most of the time the first time you do it, you're going to then pull that tail end until it tightens the panda ear so it stays perky. After you get the perfect amount of perkiness, you're going to then take another elastic and fasten it around your panda ear. This is very tricky because you want to make sure you don't mess up the shape too much. After you create your ear, you're going to repeat the steps, you're going to pull it down to tighten it, and then if it's too loose, you're going to pull the tail end to make it just perky again. You want it to kind of appear like this. The next step is pinning back the bangs. This is a step you don't have to do necessarily, but it does help hide the wig lace and also keeps the bangs more of a central look instead of a full all the way across look. This gives a space from the temple and the bangs. As you can see, it leaves a gap, and we also just fasten it with a hair clip. This also helps hide the lace like I was saying, so to get a more natural look, we would recommend hiding the lace with part of the bangs. And then just repeat these steps on the next side to get another panda ear. So this is the final look. We have both the ears on. You have to try to make them as symmetrical as possible, but they don't have to be perfect. And the tail ends of the panda ears blend with your down hair, so it's a very like seamless look. The brand INH me and McKenna love so much because it is your one-stop shop for all kinds of hair products. They have accessories, ponytails, wigs, and they're very cheap and affordable for very good quality. All of their products are really easy to use. Basically, they're very beginner friendly for anyone who is new to ponytail extensions or new to wigs like we are. I also really love their brand because they provide you with a storage bag with every purchase. So when you get your ponytail or your wig, there's a bag for you to store it in so it doesn't get all disgusting just by sitting in a heap in the corner of your room or something. INH is actually really helpful when you're trying to buy something from them. If you're not sure what color you need, whether it's a ponytail, wig, or an extension, they can actually color match you very easily. You just have to press the color match button on their website or message them on Instagram. INH is also really, really helpful for people who have thin hair, just like me and Taylor. We don't have very thick, like voluminous hair. It's very thin. flat and thin. Um, which is also fine, but it's very good if you have that kind of hair and you want more like thicker hair or like a nice wig that's a completely different look. They have it all. They have a bunch of hair extensions that can help people with fine hair like me and Taylor get fuller, thicker hair. 
Thank you guys for watching our wig tutorial review. Um, we had lots of fun actually putting this wig on and trying it out because it's so different from what we, what normally, we normally do. do. Like this hair color is crazy on me. It's it's kind of like out of my comfort zone. Yeah. Um, but I was excited when INH was like, hey, do you want a blonde wig? Here's a wig, do you want a wig? And we yeah. were like, you know what, we're gonna give it a try. And I feel like it turned out pretty good. Um, I give INH a lot of thumbs up. We love their brand. Make sure to go check them out. The link to their Instagram and all of their handles, their website will be in the description box down below, as well as a link to this wig, the Bambi wig. Don't forget to use our code PS15. We will put it here at the top for you and we'll also put it down below in the description box. It gives you 15% off of your purchase at checkout. If you're new to the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below to join our cute little sweetheart family. Also, make sure to hit a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed our quick review and tutorial of this wig. And comment down below what you think of this wig on me and McKenna. <laughs> do I look ugly? Uh, maybe. Or do, do I surprisingly look good? And comment if you guys actually tried this wig out too from watching our video because we'd like to know if our videos are actually helpful. We'll see you guys next week in our next video. Bye.